Hello, my name is Burger Brush and today I will be talking to you about three very important things to help you play Path of Exile. I will start to talk about filters. Filters in Path of Exile help you filter out unnecessary items such as grey items or items with a bad base. You can customize these filters to help you focus on items that you want to pick up or help you highlight even greater items. We will start by using filterblade.xyz as it is one of the most uh, normal websites to uh, make your own filter. So you start with picking a strictness. I would usually go for a semi strict or strict at the start of a league very strict or uber strict in the middle of the league and perhaps uber plus strict at the end of the league because at the end of the league you usually already have most of your items and you have gathered up enough currency. You can then select in presets if you want to have customized sounds like or anything like that as well. Mostly what you look for in a filter is the strictness. So if you look down here it will show you how the items will look like in the game if you pick items up. If you're looking for a more strict filter, for example, if you go for very strict, you will see down here that some smaller items like the Carrion Crow deviation card is no longer visible. You use this feature in order to remove items with a bad base, as I said previously in the video, and highlight and more closely look for better with a good base like slink boots or huber circlet. This makes the gaming experience much easier and much faster gameplay for you as well where you can just pick up the items that are actually worth something and you can just ignore all the items that is going to be unnecessary for you to pick up. When you have customized your filter by choosing one of the strictness like just straight, straight up. You then go to download. You download the filter with the name that you choose. For, for example, early league. You click download. You will then get a file in your download folder, for example. What you do then is that you open up your game, click escape, open up the options, UI, go to the bottom, show folder, and drag the new file that you downloaded into the folder that they will open for you. Once you've done that, you reload, you find the filter that you want to use, click on it and click save. And it will then much easier show you the items that you are looking for and it will ignore the items that you are not looking for. An example between using a filter and not using a filter in the game can be found here. Another very useful resource in Path of Excel is a thing called Path of Building, where you can freely move around the skill tree, add any items to the game and you can calculate and you can theory craft any character that you want to make or you can compare your character to other characters in the game. You start by downloading through any of these options here. You sip, etc. Then you open up path of building and you can start off by perhaps making a ranger and you can fiddle around in the skill tree as you freely want, seeing how much damage you're going to add to your character or how much life your character is going to have eventually. What a lot of people do as well is that they import the, their own character through their account name here, click start, and then choose which character you want to import. For example, my character right here. And then I have all my items here. I have my skills and I have my skill tree. Another thing that a lot of Path of Excel players and what is also in a lot of guides and builds is that a lot of people use the pastebin feature where you copy a link, a pastebin link, you import here, put in the pastebin link, import, 
and then you will have the calculations, the skill tree and the items of the character where you got the paste bin from. As you can see here, I have a calculated DPS of about 2.3 million and 5,933 life, which is exactly what my character has. Now the last and very important feature that I will show you right now is the PoE trade macro. This will help you price items in the game and also understand more what items are bad and what items are not really worth that much without having to go to PoE.trade and manually looking for the item yourself or putting in all the mods on the item. You start with scrolling down to the instructions on how to install and download the uh, outer hotkey and how to run the trade macro on your PC. Once you have done that and you have the game open, you can look at the descriptions here on how to utilize the script while you're inside the game. For example, Control D and Control Alt D is something that I use a lot. And do keep in mind of the league that it is currently set on by clicking Control L to see if you're on softcore or maybe hardcore, for example. Now, while you are inside the game and you have the PeeWee Trade Macro hotkey open, you can then, for example, look for an item like Star Conjures. If you're looking to sell this item, use Control D. It will then show you the average price of the Star Conjures being sold in the last hour or maybe up to 24 hours. And as we can see here, the average price for Star Conjures is about 1 chaos. Do keep in mind though the roles on your item. For example, a Star Conjures, uh, a lot of people usually look for maximum life. And as you can see here, from the values of 80 to 100, I have 96. So mine might be worth a little bit more. If you're looking at rare items, for example, the Control D function doesn't usually work that well, as it is an AI who tries to calculate exactly what this item might be worth. Sometimes it might overcalculate, and sometimes it might undercalculate the actual price of the item. I usually then use the Control Alt D function and then manually click the modifiers on the item that I want to be looking for. For example, a six linked item with fortify, physical damage and attack speed. I then click on open PoE trade and it will show me similar items that has at least those modifiers on them. If you want a more detailed explanation, then please perhaps go to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash burgerbrush and ask me there in the chat or go look at other videos that I have that more goes into depth about all these things. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you around.